Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wednesday morning, I think, the 13th of November 2019. 34 degrees here in Central Texas at 8.38 a.m. Now that we've got all that out of the way, it's winter time, guys. Everybody knows that. I don't have to tell you. You're, sta you're standing in six feet of snow, and I'm telling you it's winter, right? And I'm in Central Texas, and we don't even know what snow is. But I live in a 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe, 17-foot travel trailer. It's got 84 square feet on the inside, approximately. And it doesn't have a furnace. But what I want to focus on in this video, just briefly, is heating an RV. Heating and condensation in RVs, vans, motorhomes, etc. Because it happens, guarantee you, because anytime you're using propane heat or propane furnace you're gonna have condensation on your windows how can you avoid that you can't <laughs> as long as you're using a propane furnace <clears throat> or you're using the burners on your stove and even if you're using a using an electric heater or two you're still gonna get condensation just from the respiration of the humans inside of the RV even if it's one person but I avoid it and then how do I avoid it well in the, in the casita it has a really in my opinion unique air conditioner slash heater the air conditioner comes with a with a 1500 watt heat strip but whenever you're running the heat or using the heat strip for heat the, it also uses the dehumidifier on the air conditioner. So the air conditioner is somewhat running, I guess you'd say. And it works. No, it, you can actually have condensation on your windows, turn on the heater, you, using the heat strip on the roof AC in the casita, and within a few minutes, it will actually remove the condensation on the windows. So <clears throat> people have often wondered why I didn't get a furnace well that that re I didn't realize it was going to work as good as it did I mean I didn't know that in advance I knew that it did have a heat strip I did not know that it that it would dehumidify also and it does so that's a wonderful plus for the casita uh, uh, AC furnace unit and it comes standard in the Liberty Deluxe I'm sure it does in the others too but a lot of people ask me, so Rusty, you're going to be cold without a furnace. Actually, folks, that little 1500 watt heater does keeps that thing toasty. It, it, it cycles. I mean, uh, I can run the inside temperature up to 84 degrees when it's 25 degrees outside. And the coldest temperature I've been in in the Casita was last January in Central Texas. It dropped down to 7 degrees for one day, and I was able to stay very comfortable just using that heat strip and, and a small Polonis electric heater on low, uh, on low it's a 400 watts, so, but only for a few hours because in Texas it'll get cold uh, in the mornings like that, like right now it shows to be about 32 or whatever it happens to be, but this afternoon it'll be 50 or whatever it happens, and then, and then it'll warm right back up to the 60s and the 40s, so we just don't get it, but for you guys up in Montana, Wisconsin, Idaho and different places where it really gets freaking cold, uh, yeah, you, you're going to have to have, what you need to do is build a campfire inside your RV. <clears throat> One that doesn't produce any condensation. And those are hard to build. But anyway, guys, just wanted to give you a little heads up on the Casita RV since I've had mine for over a year. And I've done a couple of videos talking about it. Actually, uh, uh, you know, I've had, I think this is my, I counted them in my mind. I think this is my sixth. RV. I've had mostly travel trailers. I had one fifth wheel. I've never had a motorhome. I rented one for a couple of weeks out in Phoenix years ago and used it. It was okay, but you know, I just didn't really want to have a tow vehicle uh, at that time, and that was the only way I could have done it. So I passed. I didn't. I didn't buy the unit. But they are you know, good. There's nothing wrong with Class Cs, ABCs. Nothing wrong with that. If that's your thing. Uh, for me, travel trailers have worked well. It's just me, one person. And when I park my Casita, I'm good. But the Casita is an all fiberglass unit. It differs from the, uh, I can't remember, the Scamp that's made in Minnesota 
in that they're both fiberglass ball shells but the scamp the bottom part of the shell is not a complete shell it, it, it it's it's like two-thirds or whatever and then they build a wood floor over it so the, the even though they seal it the wood floor can be partially exposed to the elements and whereas the casita is two fiberglass halves that they put together and and uh, no it works and, and is it uh, it's very solid very easy to tow 2450 pounds and I've really enjoyed it and uh, it looks like something that I will keep for a long time does that mean I will it means I'm saying that right now uh, tomorrow I could say something totally different because I have the right to change my mind anytime I want to because it's mine and nobody else's and peer pressure doesn't mean poop to me you know what I mean other people's opinions I take for what they are opinions and uh, you know if somebody gives me some valuable input I'll use it if somebody's just blowing smoke well that's another story so I'm on my way to Walmart now to do my walking and it is 32 degrees and it's a little too cool for old dad but back to the casita the things i like about it of course the ac is good 9200 btus i've had it here in texas 105 degree weather cools it fine it cycles you know it's not not a big problem 9200 btus cools it perfectly uh, the heat strip works great in the winter uh, i do uh, use the uh, polonis electric heater that i've had for years it's just a little electric thing probably about a foot by a foot square and uh but it's got a low setting of 400 watts, which is great because sometimes the temperature is just cool, you know what I mean? And you just want to kind of take the chill out of the air and I don't want to turn on that uh, roof, or uh, the, 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 the heat strip thing. And because it, the fan on the uh, AC, the, it, it's, it's like any other RV, you can hear it unless you're deaf. You know, no, it's, it's, it's a little bit noisy. It's, it's much noisier than just using that little Polonis electric heater, but still. But overall, you know, I've got the one with the swivel chairs for one person, that works perfect. For two people, I think I'd look at the Spirit model, the one with the bench seats, because that way you could put that and make that into a little kind of a bed sitting area, and the other person can pass in and out, you know, cook stuff, and you'd be out of the way uh, on, on those cold, rainy days when you both have to be inside. <clears throat> But with swivel chairs, be a little more difficult. Overall, though, uh, you know, and, and as far as their service after the sale, I, I did have two issues. Uh, I had an issue with the uh, Dometic refrigerator not switching to propane uh, all the time. Sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. And what it was, it turns out there was a wire that was run from the refrigerator to the fuse box. Somehow it was getting shorted out somewhere. And so I went to an RV dealer in Alamogordo and called casita they said well you know go ahead and get it fixed and we'll pay for it whatever it is and they did they paid for it with a credit card over the phone and uh, the rv dealer in alamogardo fixed it which was good because i was traveling and i didn't want to have to drive all the way back to rice texas and i did need that uh refrigerator to be switching to propane because i was doing traveling and uh boondocking uh, the next thing, I did come back from New Mexico through Rice, Texas, and had a few things done. I had a, there's a door, it's, it's a wet bath, okay, and but it's a roomy wet bath, I have to admit that. I've gotten to where I, I really, it's nothing to it for me. I'm six foot one. The interior of the uh, casita is six foot one and a half. <clears throat> but th there's a big door there you can open and put stuff in inside the shower. And that door in my original my RV was leaking. I came back to Casita and they fixed that. And there was one light that uh, wasn't working. They fixed that. And I can't remember what else. Just minor stuff. Anyway, they fixed everything. No charge, of course. And boom, I'm back in Texas. Everything's good and go. And you know, you're going to have issues when you buy any new product, whether it's a car, RV, house, whatever. Uh, you know, there's going to be things that just uh, weren't quite done right, and you're going to have to get them fixed. So. The casita's no different, but overall, I'd, I'd give it a nine. I mean, you know, I rarely would do that for I, the, the other RVs I've had. I had a Coachman, Clipper Cadet. I'd give it a seven, six and a half, seven. It, it was designed for it to be inexpensive. It was designed to be cheap and uh, lightweight, and it it, it it accomplished that. But you know, the inside cabinets and stuff are you know just what you would think they would be because the unit sold for around ten thousand new, sixteen foot 
uh, Coachman Clipper Cadet. I kept it for a year, but I bought it with the idea of finding out if I could really enjoy living in a 16-foot travel trailer, and it turns out that I could. It's much easier to tow, and uh, it, it, it actually is, it has much more space than the Casita. It, it has more storage space. The interior is probably six foot six on the inside. No, it's, it's a much roomier uh, unit. Yeah, and for those of you that are looking for a small towable uh, travel trailer that's inexpensive and you want a new one, uh, you can get a new Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB should be around 10,000 or 11,000 tops. You can get them cheaper than that if you bar bargain with them. You can probably get one pulled out for 9,500 including taxes and all the stuff. But heating the RVs guys, of course you have to be careful with propane, everybody knows that. You know, you got the sensors and all the stuff, but you know, with electric, using the electric uh, heat strip, you know, you don't have to worry about propane. And I, and I like that, because I'm 74 years old. Hell, ain't much time what, I'm liable to forget. You know, I'll forget, I'd forget me if, if I didn't know where I put me. But here we go, this is Highway 281. The traffic picks up here for sure. A lot of people use this highway going north and south towards San Antonio rather than get on Interstate 35, which is about, oh, probably 40 miles to my left or east. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, uh, the Casita, again, is a, for me, a great RV. It, it's, you know, it's not, it wouldn't be good for a family, of course. And that's the biggest unit they make. 17 footer is the biggest unit they make. The smallest unit they make is 16 foot. Not much difference between the two. Just one foot of the interior height in the 16 footer is 5 foot 10. The interior height in the 17 footer is 6 foot 1 and a half inches. And that's that could make a that could be a deal maker or killer depending on how tall you are. <laughs> but yeah, the, the swivel chairs work good, they're very comfortable. The fabric on them is good, looks like it's gonna last a long time. Uh, I don't I don't see any wear on the one I use every day, all day long basically. And so all I can say is all you guys out there that are in the cold right now, uh, good luck. <laughs> I mean, I know what it is, man. I've been, in, I've been in areas where the temperature was freezing and the wind blowing 40 miles an hour. And did I enjoy it? No, no, <laughs> it ain't fun. No, it ain't, you know, because RVs are what they are. You know, they're, uh, they're not, some of them are better insulated than others, depending on how much you pay. Like an Airstream, you know, you pay four times the price, but you get four times the stuff. And some, you know, Winnebago's got a pretty good unit. And, uh, you know, Jayco, you know, that's kind of a mid to low range unit. Uh, it's, it depends. It's like winning the lottery, you know, whether you get a one that's well built or one that's going to fall apart on you. And, uh, and if you tow them long enough, if you tow, uh, uh, the regular type RVs, you know, the ones with the aluminum walls and that stuff they put on the outside, it can be the Adzel or Asdel, whatever it is, or it can be aluminum, it ain't gonna make any difference. And uh, sooner or later, that's gonna leak, I guarantee you, because the twisting of that frame on those types of RVs, it, it's gonna bring out a leak sooner or later, so you might as well be ready for that. Whether it's on the roof or the windows, it's gonna come, because I've had them. Uh, as far as the Casita, uh, it's a solid rock, man. I mean, it is. I don't think uh, you're going to have near, uh, excuse me, I don't think I'm going to have near the issues with the Casita that I've had with other uh, sticks, RVs, so to speak. But I'll end the video, guys. Now, I just wanted to give you a couple of tips. One was on the Casita. It is a good unit. Uh, I would highly recommend it. If you go to Casita and tell them Rusty sent you or tell Jonathan in sales that Rusty sent you, and because he's a good guy, he's been there for like 20 years. Uh, he knows everything, man. I mean, there's not a question you can ask him about a casita. He doesn't know. He took me on a factory tour uh, in uh, September of this year, and it's pretty interesting how they, it's all, they, 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 com they, they make three units a day, three complete units a day. Uh, in an entire year, they make 750 units. Now I know if you did the math on that, you're gonna say, well, the number of days doesn't work out, but they take they, they don't work weekends at all. They take every holiday off. They take a lot, lot of time off at Christmas, Thanksgiving, and so forth. So it, it turns out to 750 units a year is all they make. And what does that do? Well, it, 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 it holds the price up for one thing. And also the resale on a casita is very, very, very good. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I could sell mine right now pretty much for what I paid for it. What did I pay for it? 20000 What do they cost now? Well, of course, I didn't get an awning. I didn't get a furnace. I didn't get a microwave. Why would I want to pay them uh, a lot of dollars for a microwave? I could go get at Walmart for 50 bucks. You know what I mean? Uh, And, but but they have it's microwave ready. I could add a microwave anytime I want to. There's a big storage area that I use uh, that has uh, two ele uh, electrical outlets in it, and it's it's set up ready for a microwave right now. But I'm not planning on using a microwave, and I also don't they don't come with an oven. They come with a two burner cooktop. So I've got a two burner cooktop, and that's my whole cooking thing. Well, actually, I have also I've added uh, a. Uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a pressure cooker. Uh, what do you call it? I'll think of the name of it. Maybe it's a pressure cooker thing. It's a three quart pressure cooker. Cooker, but no, it works great for me. I'm, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it works. And uh, so with that, what I've got, I don't, you know, again, it's one person. I'm only cooking for one me, and I don't need to cook a lot for sure. But having said that, guys. Uh, stay warm out there, you RVers, and all you people out in Quartzsite. Hello, I hope you're enjoying yourself and stay. Well, it is warm. It was 80 degrees yesterday, I think. And uh, yeah, it, in January it cools down out there. It does. Well, it cools down here too. But anyway, guys, adios to me. I'll do the deal. So, thumbs up, Carpe Dam, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I because you should. And also drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you, it'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much and the only way to really lose weight is eat less. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep through your nose or your mouth, doesn't matter. Take a deep breath, hold it for a few seconds, breathe out slowly. Why should you do that? Because it relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Bet it is. And what else? Uh, stretch, stretch, walk, walk, exercise your body once or twice a day. It's good for you, help you and, and you may live healthier a little longer because of it. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Drink plenty, scratch that wrong. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. It's your head, your brain, your frontal lobes and all those little neurons in there that are crossing the synaptic gaps and forming thoughts. You know, those are your thoughts. You know, add some good ingredients and form some good ones. So with that in mind, accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative and enjoy your day. And if you're out there on cold weather and you're heating with propane, get ready for condensation or else option two, there's two things you can do. One is get you an electric a dehumidifier, a small one. And they also make, I believe, a 12 volt dehumidifier. Get one of those and they do help a lot. Have I ever used one? No, uh, but I've heard they do work and I've talked to a lot of people at RV. So anyway, guys, adios amigos, bye-bye.